You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round one is upon us, and it always feels special and heightened when Robert Whitaker is in there. Not just in Australia, not just in New Zealand. He is one of the most popular fighters on planet Earth. I actually think his approval rating is highest here in the United States of America, but that is neither here nor there. Robert Whitaker needs a win, wants to prove that he is still the class of the class when it comes to this middleweight division. Oh, nice block. All right, the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier, getting that jab working here pretty early, DC. And a power jab. I mean, everything about Jared Cannonier is power. If you look at him, you can tell that the guy is just insanely powerful. But it's this jab that is his trigger to do everything going forward in every fight that he's in. What a kick. That one landed. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern? Oh, he might be out. Big knee there. And he blocked the punch there. Just misses with that one. Strong hook to the head there by Cannonier. Man, look at him load up. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to that. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting and being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. That punch, no good. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice punch to the head. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Ooh, make the miss clinch work out. Lands the punch there. Oh, wow. How about the round this kick? Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Getting out of that clinch position. And he, oh! That one appeared to stun him. All right, opens the guard. Now stacked guard. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. All right, now we got some blood, ladies and gentlemen. It looks as though that shot has cut him open. Now we're in a fight. Let's now go. we're in a fight, John. I mean, you got the blood flowing. Guy's got a cut. Let's see how this fight plays out. Oh, nice series of elbows. Oh, he's got to get him. oh, this could just about do it. Man, what a fight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Cannoneer's eye now closing up. Back and forth we go. Goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get arrested here. Oh. 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 Oh.
round one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, buckle up. Here we go with our second Good round. Fight. Robert Whitaker Good. and Jared Good. the Killer Gorilla Cannonese. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who pulls and goes down first. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, my God! Oh, the elbow lands there. Oh, yeah! Huge left! Oh, big elbow. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother it, but clearly both players are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! Well, he's still on the right side of 30, and Robert Whitaker just continues to add to what is already the best legacy for an Australian fighter in UFC history. There is nothing this man cannot do inside that octagon. You saw it firsthand tonight. Congratulations to the Reaper, Robert Whittaker.